Well, at this juncture, we can now get some thoughts from my guests who are here with us in studio. Glad to have with us today the UDA Secretary General, Cleofas Malala. Welcome to the program. Thank you. And also, we are joined by the Senate Minority Whip and also Narok Senator Ledama Olekina. Welcome to the program as well. Thank you very much. Uh, gentlemen, uh, a lot to talk about this evening, and I'll try and be quick with this to get your thoughts on this. On one hand, Ledama, your party leader, Raila Odinga, has decided that he's, and declared that he's scaling up the protests from one day to two days a week. And on the other hand, the Kenya Kwanzaa side for you, uh, um, Malala, the arrest and prosecution of both Raila and former President Ruru Kenyatta for yesterday's chaos is what you're calling for. Ledama, let me start with you on this one. What is the country being told tonight? The country is being told that we are demanding for three things. One, for the servers to be opened. Number two, we want the cost of living to go down. Number three, we want the issue of the IEBC uh, selection panel to stop doing their work and to wait until we can be able to have a sober um, recruitment process that will be able to involve everyone. Number two, we are also telling the country that demonstrations is our right. Article 37 is quite clear that we have a right to picket, we have a right to demonstrate. What the Kenya Kwanzaa administration is trying to do is trying to take us back to the dictator period. These are areas, these are things that had already been mentioned mm -hmm. way back in the Akiwimi report. Mm -hmm. They have been mentioned in the uh, Kennedy Kiluku report of 1992. And we will not take the country back to that. So, so let me, just to get this right, you want the servers opened seven months after the elections? Yes. And the reason why we want the servers open is because we have always wanted the servers to be open from the get go. The Supreme Court declined to emphasize or rather to grant us that prayer that those servers be opened. There was a letter which was sent by the guys who had messed up the entire election, saying that we're, in, we're going to be infringing in their rights. Intellectual if, property rights. Intellectual mm -hmm. property rights. But what intellectual property right? Okay. When we have paid billions of shillings to be able to carry out an election, when that data was our own data. So the cost of living has been rising for the last three, four years. The cost of living is rising why, because why, of why? taxation. Listen, mm -hmm. it, is, it is rising because of constant taxation. There is a lot of taxation. In fact, I think the only business that we're very good at as a country now is just coming up with taxes. Every single tax. On a daily basis, you will see every department, every government department, coming up with a notification of a particular tax. The latest is CAPS, telling all manufacturers that there is a manufacturing tax. You want to kill people? So when you overtax Kenyans, mm -hmm. that tax goes back and increases the cost of living. Malala, jump in. Uh, what, what is the country being told tonight? Uh, f first of all, I want to say that uh, it's quite a pity that leaders who are supposed to be responsible in this country are taking this country to the trenches. One, the demands by our, my colleague here and uh, his counterparts in uh, the Azimio coalition, they are unreasonable de demands. One, you cannot demand for servers to be opened seven months down the line. Second. Whose responsibility is it to open servers? Is it the responsibility of the president? No. They are protesting against the president. The president was a candidate in the election, just like Raila Odinga was a candidate in the same election. So if you want servers to be uh, opened, is this the right channel? Is it the right platform to demand for servers to be opened? They had their time in the Supreme Court. They had their platform to prosecute the case. They were given the scrutiny of the system by, uh, by the Supreme Court. The, the, the register of the Supreme Court did a scrutiny, came up with a report that is filed, that is encapsulated in, 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 in the judgment of the Supreme Court. And therefore, demanding for opening of the server, I think it is, uh, they're just looking uh, uh, for, for, uh, 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 for a reason to bring chaos in this country. Second, the issue of cost of living. The cost of living did not start going up two months ago. The cost of living has been going up since the uh, Uhuru administration, since the Handshake administration, you know very well that there, uh, there was a point where Unga was at 230 shillings. Why did Azimio people demonstrate when the uh, price of Unga was 230 shillings? Why are they demonstrating when the price of Unga is now going down to 180 shillings? These are not demands that are genuine. Third, the issue of IEBC. 
they want us to uh, allow them uh, suspend uh, the process of suspend the, the process of of, of of recruitment of IBC commissioners. Mm -hmm. We are telling the Azimio people that the same laws they used in identifying Cherera and the three other commissioners are still the same laws that we are using. Not we true. haven't amended any law not since true. then. This is not true. <laughs> not true. I think, you know, my brother has been away from parliament. The elections laws were amended and rushed within a day. Which, so that, which part? The IEBC Act no, the was amended to be able to change the process of selection. In fact, when we attempted to amend that law so that it can be inclusive, we when, were... When did you me, amend? No, when did you amend the law? You know, no, we tell just us, when did you amend the first, what, 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 you, what section, back, we, what section we amended, did you amend we that you are uncomfortable with? We amended the section yeah. of the recruitment, of the composition of the members of IBC. In fact, what we wanted, we wanted to make sure that we are the ones, the political parties are the ones who are selecting our own people. When we attempted to bring those changes, we were told, no, no you know, they, they, they outnumbered us. So they wanted to, to uh, you know, to come in and so, muscle their way through. Okay. So we amended the law. That's okay. issue number which, one. Which, okay. The law was amended, the law was brought in, mm -hmm. and we amended the law. Number two, let me just rebut on one quick thing. On the issue of UNGA, we had subsidies. Those subsidies brought UNGA down okay. to 100 shillings. Okay, let's let uh, 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 the, In fact, in fact one, one of the scandals that we have in this country is the subsidy regime. These people used a lot of money, a tune of around 34 billion Kenya shillings on subsidies, yet the prices of UNGA was not going down. We need a sustainable way to subsidize uh, uh, co the cost of living in this country. What we are doing right now, we have our own way of uh, reducing the cost of living. The president has given direction that we subsidize the farm inputs. At the moment, we got into, the, uh, into this administration when the fertilizer price was at 7,500. Now we've subsidized that to 3,500 shillings. We had a point whereby uh, the, Azimio, the Azimio and the Handshake administration was using 8 billion to subsidize for UNGA. Okay. Now, now right. we are using a mere, only 5 billion shillings to subsidize for fertilizer. We are going to give More 5 right. million. Five million farmers are subsidized uh, uh, rates of fertilizer at 3,500. Let me respond quickly to no, that wait, issue wait. And lastly, of the fertilizer uh, subsidy. Lastly, lastly, no, lastly, Maura. I can't give you both. No, answers. lastly, can, no, lastly can I finish? So, lastly, he lastly, was finishing. I was finished. Let me finish. Finish. Lastly, can I take that break. Uh, we, we, won't, we won't suck into the pressure and threats of uh, Azimio by saying they want to resist Safaricom. They want to let, let, let me tell them <laughs> that you cannot throw stones when you are living in a glass house. Okay. They, let me, also, let me just they also have quickly. companies which we can resist. Let me, so let let me them respond. not. Let, let me them not start. I'm hoping that's not the kind of discussion just, we are here to have. No, uh, to say, not uh, we, can have general. People we can have a very sober about discussion, but let's be very honest with each other. The issue of subsidies in fertilizer, it's the biggest scam in this country. Where is your proof? Let me tell you why. And have you taken I'm a that farmer. Proof? My friend, I'm a farmer. If you take that fertilizer, if you look at the compositions, of the, uh, the, the uh, which lab, which whatever. lab did you? It is you have to double <laughs> instead of using forty kilos, you're using 80, 80, 80 kilos yeah. an acre. So let me be honest with you. Most farmers who want to make sure that they continue getting the yields are going back to buying the six thousand shillings fertilizer. I bought the six thousand shillings fertilizer. Which one? DAP, uh, NPK? DAP for DAP. DAP for DAP. You cannot use the subsidized fertilizers they have brought because it is a big scam. In fact, what they have done is that they have re reduced the composition. Instead of, you know, putting the, the nitrogen or the, you know, the ingredients of the fertilizer at, seven, at 100 percent, they reduce it 50 percent. Senator, it. let's take a break. We'll come back. I'll give you more time, gentlemen. My goodness. Um, let's take a short break. You're watching Newsnight. Uh, stay with us when we come back. I'll run you through a couple more stories. Then we get deep. We're going to have a civil conversation here with these two gentlemen, and we'll take some of your questions as well. 224 is the SMS. 